What's up and Happy New Year, everybody. Okay, we have another deck tech. I had just finished this deck for a friend. So we're going to just start right away. The deck is Edric, Spymaster of Trust, Trust, Tribal Elf EDH. Edric says, whenever a creature deals combat damage to one of your opponents, its controller may draw a card. So not only does that work for you, but it also works for your, your opponents as well. The name of the game with this deck is Snowball. I mean, that's the first word that really comes to my, to my mind is Snowball Effect. Essentially, the deck runs a lot of small elf creatures um, that all kind of conglomerate into this gigantic snowball of death. So that's kind of the name of the game between this one. First creature we have is a Azuri Redingate Leader. He has the regenerate one um, for an elf, or he has pay five and use overrun for elves. So this is what you want to get when you have infinite mana. We have a couple of different ways to have infinite mana in this deck. And this is definitely one of the ones that you want to go for once you get that infinite mana. Next is Elvish Archdruid. Other elves get plus one, plus one, and he taps for each elf uh, you control, you get a green. Color of the Wildwood. Wirewood, sorry. Has tap and add the one green mana. And if it's a six or greater creature, you draw a card. Elvish Visionary. Arbor Elf. Findhorn Elves. Another infinite mana enabler because he taps for each elf in play. This one's very important with one other card in this deck, which is um, Crab Umbra. Create infinite mana because it can create a uh, man of any color. Jagged Scar Archers. Star Star for how many creatures you control or elves you control. And then it can deal damage to a flying creature equal to its power. Coiling Oracle. Uh, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land card, put it into the battlefield. Otherwise, put it into your hand. Draw a card, basically. Wellwisher, gain one life for each elf in the battlefield. Imperious Perfect, elves get plus one, plus one, and one green, tap, make an elf warrior. It's another one of the um, infinite mana cards. Its a, ability is incredibly expensive at eight, not necessarily for elves, but once you get the infinite mana, that's what you want to pump it into and give everything plus five, plus five trample infinitely sylvan messenger basically says reveal the top four cards of your library if it's an elf card put it into your hand devoted druid seeker of skybreak says untap target creature korean ranger return a forest you control to an its owner's hand and untap a creature this is extremely powerful. Sylvan Ranger. Sky Shroud Ranger. This is a really good one when you have, um, uh, be able to play with the top card of your library. Wirewood Herald works really well because you're gonna be swinging every single turn with your creatures. And if this guy ends up dying, um, then you get to search for any elf and put it into your hand. If not, then you get to keep hitting for free and not have to worry about him being blocked. Check out our tree speaker. Yeva. This is really good when um, you have... Uh, there's an enchantment that allows you to untap on everybody else's untap step. And then you have a bunch of... Um, uh, the green creatures with the, the creatures that create mana, so you're able to flash in a lot of things. Oracle of Moldiah, this is just a crazy good card. This is in pretty much every green deck. 
Green Weaver Druid. Heritage Druid. This could snowball out of effect really, really fast because you don't actually need to wait for Summoning Sickness because it's just a TAP ability. So you can tap them as soon as they come out. Immaculate Magistrate. This works really well with a couple different cards. Overrun is definitely one of them. Make one of your creatures gigantic and then over and then use the overrun ability and make that everything huge. What else allows you to go and search for a non-basic land? This guy's cool because um, you can block creatures with flying, but you can also tap for blue with him, which is kind of important in this deck because sometimes you don't have enough blue mana. This one um, allows you to discard a card from your hand and make a land of war elf, which is really good because you have tons and tons of cards in your hand from Edric. Because every time you hit with something, you draw a card. Moldiah Channelers. Draga War Caller. He has the multi kicker ability, and other elves get plus one, plus one for any many times you basically kicked his ability. So. Diwin. All elves get plus one, plus one, and you gain life for each attacking elf you control. So, works really well with Edric's ability. Spring Bloom Druid is a way I can go search out the. Um, the blue the blue mana that you need basically the islands lenore elves fauna shaman allows you to go and search out the creature that you do want and if, if you don't have one in your hand that you do that you do care about why would symbiote allows you to make that clutch untap move with you know one of your big mana tap abilities by just uh, returning an elf to your hand. Sometimes you want to return certain elves to your hand like this guy. Reclamation of Sage, when he comes into the battlefield, you destroy target artifact or enchantment. Timberwatch Elf, a uh, creature gets plus X plus X, or X is the number of elves you control. You can tap and do that. And that's our creatures. Now for our Planeswalker. Freylees. I really like her uh, minus six ability to draw a card for each green creature you control. That can just draw you like tons and tons of cards. Herald's Horn. Look at the top card of your library. If it's a creature, you put it into your hand of the type. Obviously, it'd be elves in this situation. And then the creature costs one less to cast that you choose. Door of Destinies, whenever... You choose that creature type whenever an elf, you know, comes into play. They all get plus one, plus one. For however many uh, counters are on it. Staff of Domination is another one of the cards that goes infinite with one of those uh, tap for each elf you control. and allows you to draw your entire deck. Gain infinite life, draw your entire deck. So we do run counter spells in here since we're running blue. Run counter spell, of course. Miscalculation, I really like because you can cycle it and draw a card if you don't care about it. 4-bit is incredibly good in this deck because you're drawing tons and tons of cards with Edric's ability. And discarding two cards to buy back a counterspell is, is really good. Just kind of static counterspells in your hand. Mana Leak. Remand. Power Sync. We're on Future Sight in here. This is our enchantment section. So this is just a way we can get motoring through our deck really fast. Crab Umbra is the infinite mana with one of the um, with one of the elves that tap for mana. Aloran, whenever uh, any anybody can. Uh, Play creatures with converted mana cost three or less from their hand for free, basically. Helps a lot of people out, but helps you out. I mean, your entire deck is mana of three or less cost elves, so essentially you can just play anything for free. Asceticism. So it gives all your creatures hexproof and regenerate two. Beastmaster's Ascension. 
whenever a creature attacks, you put a quest counter on it, and uh, once you have uh, seven quest counters on it, all your creatures get a static plus five plus five. So that's another one of those beater cards, just in case you want to beat just beat somebody up. Quest for renewal is one of those. Uh, it's kind of like Oracle of Moldiah. Uh, I'm not. I'm sorry, not Oracle of Moldiah. Seedborn Muse. It's basically Seedborn Muse, where you untap on everybody else's untap step. I mean, you're playing elves, so being able to get the you know whatever how many quest counters four quest counters that's yeah takes like no time at all and then you're untapping on everybody else's untap step with all your creatures you're on a couple of um basically recyclable um take extra turn cards walk the aeons is one of them when you're when you're about to win just being able to sacrifice the three islands it's not a big deal especially if you have infinite mana be able to take the turn a couple times and just beat everybody down. Beacon of Tomorrow is I like because you get to shuffle it into your library. We have o Overwhelming Stampede, which is the uh, the one I was talking about with the Macula Magistrate. Just one creature gets huge, then you're able to make all your creatures huge and then smash into somebody, basically. Triumph of the Hordes. Everybody knows what this card does now. Back in the day, nobody knew what this card did, but being able to give everything plus one, plus one, trample, and infect, you only have to deal ten damage to somebody with its infect, and then they lose. A reap and sow. Being able to get rid of pesky lands and being able to ramp at the same time is really good. Rapid, hybrid, rapid hybridization. Say that five times really quick. Being able to kill a creature is really good, especially in blue-green. Growth Spiral is really good just because sometimes you just pull a hell of a lot of lands off the top with Ed Edric's ability, you know, and you need to just start drilling through your deck faster. Beast Within. Worldly Tutor. Autumn's Veal and allows you to um, allows you to basically keep your creatures from being countered. You know, just in case somebody counters something, you're gonna you know in response Autumn's Veal. If something is gonna get killed, instead you can Autumn's Veal. It's just a good card for EDH. Mystical Tutor being able to search out our take extra turn cards. And the last one, which is Turbulent Dreams. It says an additional cost to cast Turbulent Dreams, discard X cards from your hands, return X non-land permanents to their owner's hand. You have a shit ton of cards in your hand with Edric's ability because every single creature you hit with, you hit somebody with, you're drawing a card. So the turn that you essentially hit everybody and you have, you know, maybe you have 10 cards, maybe you have 20 cards in your hand... This card is so damn good for two mana. Being able to completely wipe somebody's board for the two mana is crazy good, man. Anyway, thanks for enjoying my Edric Spymaster Trust deck tech. It's kind of a budget deck, but it's I mean, it's in the middle. It's not ne necessarily budget. It's not necessarily you know low tier or high tier. I think it's somewhere right in the sweet spot. Okay, guys.